Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Slow Pit Stop. This is part of our Drive to Survive series where one of us can't watch the episodes and the other one won't. So each episode we're joined by someone who is going to explain the episode to us enough that we could fake it in a conversation with someone else as if we have actually seen the episode. Today I'm joined by Natsumi all the way from Sri Lanka who is a big Lewis Hamilton fan but also has a very soft spot for Yuki Tsunoda. That's right. <laughs> a very, very big soft spot. Hi, thank you for having me. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? Good, thanks. So let's get right into it. Episode mm-hmm. seven, it's called Growing Pains. What's it all about? So episode seven is all about Yuki, and of course it's about Esteban as well. So it's kind of divided up between the two, but I do feel like it focuses more on Yuki, so you can say it's Yuki's episode, more or less. Classic Esteban coming to steal things from Yuki. I know, but I think, and you know, that's what they did try to do. So I think the sort of pre-talk about the episodes when the media sort of got to see it before everyone else was, oh, it's a rivalry between the two rookies, even though Esteban's hardly a rookie at that stage. But um, they try to put it as a rookie. I know. Well, I saw that a lot on Twitter and I was like, Esteban's not a rookie. Sure, Yuki was. But um, yeah, so they were trying to sort of put it in that light of they're against each other, they're competing, and it's like, sure, you know, AlphaTauri and Alpine were sort of competing in terms of the constructors, like, championship, but certainly not Yuki and Esteban, I think. <laughs> I don't think either of them sort of um, cross the others, yeah, mind. So it was really strange to see it put that way. So I had to watch it because I was like, all right, I want to see this rivalry between the tallest driver and the shortest driver on the grid. And yeah, it's pretty much i think if i had to summarize it for you and convince you to watch this episode it would be because we have so much negativity and just you know sort of almost depressed vibes at the moment surrounding formula one which is you know warranted in a lot of instances i think i harbor that a lot so in a way it's really nice to find like the good vibes the happy vibes and sort of remember why you do love Formula One and why, you you know, a lot of us do support a lot of drivers, like other drivers other than Lewis Hamilton. And for me, you know, that's definitely Yuki. So that was my main reason for watching this episode first and giving that one stat to Netflix um, just for Yuki. Does the episode help us to learn anything about Yuki that we didn't know already from other interviews and things? Certainly it does. Um, It mainly sort of, (laughs) <laughs> I, I'm, I'm so hesitant now because I'm like, do I really want to put this out there or talk about it? But apparently Yuki's bathroom habits get featured a lot in, um, oh. the, like, I think in other oh, episodes nice. of Drive to Survive. But yeah, but it does come up in this episode. And I think um, I did see like a, a journalist or somebody kind of going, oh gosh, you know, we didn't, we didn't need to know that. And I was like, it's part and parcel of like everyday life. And I think that's such a big part about why Yuki is so awesome because he's just unfiltered he's so honest he doesn't care what comes out of his mouth maybe to his own detriment sometimes but it also just shows like you know he's not he doesn't have any pretenses or anything like that he's just who he is so all around great vibes (laughs) would you recommend that someone that is avoiding drive to survive because of how they feel about last year do you think they should watch this episode I would most definitely recommend it. Um, on a serious note, you know, there's nothing triggering in it. It's just really good vibes. Esteban is awesome in this episode as well. We can see um, how he sort of, yeah, tackles races and his own failures and then his wins, obviously. So all around, I think it's just good vibes. Yuki's really fun. I think he um, encapsulates a lot of us when he talks about his hatred for the gym when he struggles with cleaning when he talks about food and things like that so yeah i would definitely recommend that yeah everybody watches this episode at least this episode give the one stat for episode seven yeah just this this one for now okay well thank (laughs) you very much for joining us and we'll see you soon thank you for having me bye bye